Okay, in this video, we're going to try to come up with the mnemonics for drainage of the lymph nodes. So here we have a picture of the high yield lymph nodes that we need to know. And because this picture is a little bit boring, let's try to come up with something better. Uh, there we go. Let's take a look at these lymph nodes over here. Here we have the paraaortic lymph nodes, the paraaortic lymph nodes, because it's next to the aorta over here. So this is the paraaortic lymph nodes. And to represent that, we'll have the parrot over here for paraaortic. Okay, so the paraortic lymph nodes drain certain things, and that's represented by this parrot over here. So he's taking a test over here. This parrot is taking a test. That was from the testes. Uh, and he's sitting on a chair, but the chair is actually a uterus with the ovaries. That was remember that it drains the uterus and the ovaries. And he also has, he's chewing on kidney beans while he's taking the test for the kidneys. So the paraortic lymph nodes drain the testes, the uterus, the ovaries, and the kidneys. Then we come to this guy over here. This is the celiac. It's a celiac, and it's representing the celiac lymph nodes. The celiac lymph nodes. That drains most of the organs. The liver. So this celiac over here, he's chewing on a liver, a spleen, a stomach, and a pancreas. He also got the upper duodenum over here. The celiac is it helps remember that the celiac lymph nodes drain the liver, the stomach, the spleen, the pancreas, and the upper duodenum. Then we come to this guy. This is this soup. He has soup but the soup is actually just ink. Soup of ink for superficial inguinal. Superficial inguinal, that's uh, these lymph nodes over here. And anyway, he, in this scene, he's very angry because he got ink all over here below his um umbilicus, right? He got ink all over here. That was, remember, the superficial inguinal lymph nodes drains all of the skin below the umbilicus except over here, except by the dorsolateral foot. But otherwise, everything, all the skin below the belly button. Um, also over here, we've highlighted this area over here. To remember that it also drains the anal canal, but below, below the pectinate line. Because above the pectinate line would be by the internal iliac. And also over here, we've highlighted, just to remember, the scrotum and the vulva. Here, we have the popliteal lymph node. And it's represented by this popping stuff over here for the popliteal. And it's pointing to these shoes over here. With the ladder and doors, the ladder and doors over here, it's also the dorsolateral, the dorsolateral foot. The popliteal drains the dorsolateral foot and the posterior calf. Okay, and the rest of the lymph nodes are really very, uh, very intuitive, right? We have like the, you know, the head over here, and we have the cervical lymph nodes and the supraclavicular lymph nodes. Those are going to drain the head and the neck. And we have the mediastinal lymph node over here. And by the mediastinum, that's going to drain the trachea and esophagus. That's just about where it is. The Axillary lymph nodes over here we see, they're going to drain the upper limb, the breast, and the skin above the belly button. Then we discuss the celiac. Over, over here we have the superior mesenteric. So superior mesenteric is going to be the lower duodenum, the jejunum, the ilium, and the colon to the splenic fissure, whereas the inferior one will be from the colon, from, from the splenic fissure to the upper rectum. Okay, if you have what to add to this video, please let me know. Uh, this is just a start. It makes the anatomy fun. I hope you enjoyed Please subscribe to the channel and take care.